At that time, we had been married for about five years, we both earned good salaries, and we lived in the center of a large city in a two-bedroom apartment. When we were at work, our two-year-old child was taken care of by a nanny, sometimes replaced by my husband's parents. My husband and I had a great relationship. One day I received an email from an unknown email address that said, Your husband is sleeping with Lisa. Lisa, that's his co-worker. The email was signed, The Well-Wisher. I immediately deleted it and didn't believe a word of it, but doubts began to creep in. I started reading about signs of infidelity on the internet, and my doubts about my husband only grew. I found many signs that he was cheating on me. Aside from the close relationship, we had it every day, if not more often. Outwardly, he didn't change, he was still as cheerful, and he kept telling me how much he loved me, which made it even more disgusting that he could lie like that. I agonized for months, finding more and more circumstantial evidence, but no direct proof. And then I received another message with attached pictures and video of my husband with this woman. In the photos he was with her in different places on the street, in the office at work, in the cafeteria, and also in some suspicious places, in the photos they were kissing and hugging. When I opened the video, I saw him having intimate relations with this woman. It was bad quality, taken on a cell phone, but you could see everything. I was hysterical. My first inclination was to kill him, or at least to confront him. But I controlled myself, pulled myself together, and decided not to say anything until I decided what to do. I called a friend from our company, and she said she had heard some gossip a few months ago, but she didn't know anything for sure. That was enough for me. Not only had I betrayed him, but everyone around me was making fun of me. I thought about it for days. My husband noticed I wasn't myself, but I told him I had a headache. I decided to get back at him, to make him feel what it was like to be in my shoes. I guess I continued to love him, but at the same time, I started to hate him. I absolutely hated having an affair on the side, but overpowering myself, I started responding to a guy at work for a date. I also told him that I wasn't having a relationship with my husband. Then we started to meet after work and eventually became intimate. His apartment was near work and we often went there for lunch. I even started to like it and I felt like I could let my husband go easier now. So without saying a word, I filed for divorce, citing my husband's infidelity. The second part of my revenge was to let him find out from an outsider that I was cheating on him the way I found out. It didn't take long. I was only afraid that he would not kill me, although he is very calm and intelligent. But everything turned out well he followed us and met us near my lover's house as we were leaving the entrance together. My boy lover was obviously afraid of my husband and began to say that I had told him that we were getting divorced. It was unpleasant. I interrupted him and told my husband right on the street that this is my new husband and that I have already filed for divorce and that we will discuss the rest at home in the evening and at the same time I will pack my things and move to my parents next weekend. He took the news quietly, didn't ask a single question, said let's wait until the evening. I came home that evening ready for a scandal, but my husband was calm, and when I asked him if he wanted to know why I was leaving him, he said, No! This hurt me. However, I began to pack my things, mine and the baby's. My husband was like a fish sitting in front of the TV. He turned gray, no emotions, nothing. So two days passed. On Friday, I ordered a car for transportation and he helped me load things, kissed my son, and told me goodbye. He smelled like alcohol. I told him that if he was interested, I sent him some pictures and videos on his soap that would explain everything to him. He just nodded. 
They were the shots I got in the mail. Plus, I took a couple candid shots with my lover and finished with, I never had a good time with you. Goodbye. I really wanted to hurt him one last time. I moved out. I never heard from my husband. The lover and I met two more times and he left me. I didn't care. The lover had done his job. The next time we met was in court. I was shaking all over. I hoped to the last minute that something would happen, that my husband would want to talk to me, that he would start begging to come back and that we would not be divorced. But he didn't talk and we were divorced without any problems, as I was the one who initiated it. When asked by the judge, he said he had never cheated, but he didn't object to the divorce. He was awarded child support for me and the child. We met face to face on the way out, and all he said to me was look at the video, he has a tattoo on his shoulder, so it's not me. I didn't cheat on you, in case you were wondering. I got home and paid attention to my shoulder. The man in the video had a tattoo. I realized I'd been cheated on. It wasn't my husband. I was shocked to realize how stupid I was. I had ruined my own life. Now my husband won't talk to me or communicate with his son. As far as I know, he's in a relationship with my girlfriend. 